I think it's easier to get water here versus getting water from the pier using uh, the cast net rope. It's a lot easier. I think this should be plenty for the pinfish. Pinfish are pretty hardy, so don't need much water. I think that's good right there. Plus, it's not it's not hot yet. It's like seven o'clock right now, and um, tide's going out. Slack tide is at 11:40, something like that. So we have plenty of time to try all up and gag grouper today. Hopefully we get them. I came out here a couple weeks ago and tried for grouper. I got broke off two times. Um, didn't catch a single grouper. There were a lot of dolphins going up and down the pier. It was, it was, it was challenging. But hopefully today's a better day. Hopefully we get a keeper today. Let's see what happens guys. Stay tuned. First things first, we gotta get bait. We're gonna get probably a dozen or so pinfish. Probably a dozen because we don't have much time to fish the outgoing tide. We only have like probably an hour or two before the tide comes to slack. So we're gonna do that, get the pinfish, and then get fishing. So we're just cutting these shrimp into small pieces like that. This is what I use to catch pinfish. You can use squid. You can use fish bites, you can use uh, even, you can even use gulp lures. Cut them up into like little chunks like that and then put it on a sabiki. You can catch pinfish that way too. Pinfish will eat anything, really. Anything greasy. I heard this guy used uh, uh, Slim Jim and it worked for him. I'm just gonna stick with shrimp. I think shrimp works best, for me at least. So this is the rig I have for uh, catching pinfish. Literally just two hooks and an ounce pyramid sinker. There it is. There's one. They're always here, man. If you have one of those Sabiki D hookers, definitely recommend that. I was gonna grab mine today, but I totally forgot, so I gotta use my hand to de-hook these. And by the end of the day, every time I grouper fish, by the end of the day, I'll have like little tiny holes from uh from the pinfish all over my hands. There it is. First uh, pinfish. Pinners. Pretty decent sized pinfish right there. Good sized bait. We'll take them. See, we got, we probably got like five or six pinfish and grunts. We'll try to get probably a few more and then uh, we can start fishing. Oh yeah, double baby, let's go. That's more like it. It'll help speed up the process when you get doubles like that. That's for sure. Good sized ones too. I'm over here getting excited about bait. <laughs> Haven't even caught grouper yet. When you go further down and try to get pinfish, they're a little bit smaller down there. But the ones here near the entrance, they're uh, pretty decent size. Ones like this one here. Hand size pinfish, that's what I call them. That's what you want for grouper. When you use a smaller size pinfish, like let's say like a three inch pinfish, they just float on the surface. They can't really dive down because they're not strong enough, I guess. Plus the currents out here are pretty strong. All right, guys, I think we got plenty of bait. To get us started, I don't want to waste too much time getting bait. So we're gonna start fishing before the tide comes to slack. We only have, like I said, we only have like probably a couple hours or so before the tide comes to slack. All right, let's go. Here we go, sending it. Oh yeah. Hopefully that one gets whacked. <sighs> Loving this east wind, man. I feel, I feel more confident with East Wind 
versus like west wind or south wind, north wind, because east wind just helps you with the outgoing tide here at the Skyway Pier. Hopefully we get a keeper and we'll see what happens. I'm just feeding line out until I, f I start feeling that bait, get nervous, and then just, even then, even, even when the bait gets nervous, you just wanna keep letting line out until uh, a grouper takes it. And uh, once that grouper hits, man, you'll know because your line just starts stripping out of your hands. Sometimes, when these grouper hit, especially the keepers or an overslot, they strip line so fast to where you can't even close the bail because your line just keeps shooting out, you know? It's, uh, it's pretty intense sometimes. Yeah, just keep letting line out. Let him swim along the current naturally until he gets near the grouper. These grouper are so aggressive. When there's a bait nearby, they'll, uh, they'll inhale it. Let's go, baby. First one of the day. Man, I'm freaking. Woo! That thing whooped me, man. Hopefully, he's a keeper. Nah, he's short. He's definitely short. Man, he fought, though. He definitely fought. Let's measure it real quick. He's, uh, <laughs> let's see, 18, 19, 20, he's 21. You're close, buddy. We're gonna, let, we're gonna have to let you go. He's short. We are gonna have to let him go. Man, this guy fought. <laughs> Thought he was a keeper. He's close, though. Whew, man. That was pretty, pretty exhausting, actually, <laughs> for this little guy here. Imagine a 26 inch or a keeper, but all right, see ya. <sighs> Man, that was fun. All right, let's throw another bait down there. All right, we're gonna send this big juicy pinfish down there and hopefully we get a keeper. Let me show you guys where I like to hook these pinfish when we're out here fishing for gag grouper. Just right behind the door, the, uh, the anal fin right there, just so you can feel them swim. Hopefully we get a keeper, man. We got to. Got to get a keeper. Be nice. I want some grouper tacos. Grouper sandwich. That's what we're going for. We're going for grouper sandwich. Man, I tell you what, these grouper, man, they fight. You're not just uh, only fighting the grouper. You're fighting the current that's going out too. The wind, everything comes into play. Ooh, he got me rocked, man. Definitely a grouper. He's small, though. Oh, yeah. He might be a good one, boys. He might be a keeper. Actually, He was tangled with somebody's line and he felt like heavier. But I don't think that's a keeper. Probably another 21 inch or there. My rule is way back there, way down there. All right, let's see. He's close. 21 inches again. Zero. 21. A lot of 21 inches. Look at this guy, man. He fought too. Woo, good deal. All right. Short again. 22 inches. We still got a few more baits left. We're gonna have to let this guy go, man. The release. See ya. Hat first. Pumped, man. Two in less than like probably an hour. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for me. 
two grouper today and the tide came to slack the bite just stopped completely so we're gonna call it a day um, I thought about fishing the incoming tide but I'm probably gonna get some more pinfish and uh, switch it up and target snook that's gonna be a different video but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one peace <laughs>